Okay, today we're working on an 07 Jeep Commander, and this we are troubleshooting a no start condition with this vehicle. Let me show you what I mean. Um, basically, the key's in the ignition, you go to start it, all the lights come on on the dash, you turn the key to start, no start. Not a good thing, especially when you're trying to go somewhere. So, how do you fix it? Well, what we're going to take a look at first, it could be a lot of different things that cause this problem. You could have a bad ignition switch, you could have a bad shifter, you could have a bad starter, you could have a bad uh, relay, or you could just have a bad car, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the starter and we're going to monitor the signal wire that the key sends to the starter. So basically, when you turn this key to start position, you send a 12 volt signal to your starter motor to start the car. <clears throat> now, we have already tapped into that with our meter, and what we're going to do now is look at voltage on the meter for the signal wire to the starter. So I'm gonna turn the key to the start position, and I'm gonna look at my meter, and I see that I do have a 12 volt signal to my starter. Now I'm going to release the key and it goes back to zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to start it again and you'll see I've got a nice voltage signal to the starter to engage the starter motor. Release it and it goes away. Okay, so what does all that mean? Well, we're underneath the car right now and what we're going to show you is the actual starter motor. And you can see that the starter motor at this point in time has a big red cable going to it. And that's the battery voltage. And then you can see this other wire that we've tapped into with our meter, which is right up here. This wire right here. I'll just shine my light on. And that's the signal wire. It's a yellow wire. And that's the voltage that we were just monitoring with the meter. So when you turn your key to the start position, 12 volts comes onto that yellow wire and starts to be, uh, engages the starter. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna get up there to the starter now, show you what we're talking about. So you can see the, uh, my phone's staying in the right spot. Um, all right, you can see the um, terminal right here for the uh, signal wire which is this wire right here uh, this terminal right here now when you take this terminal and touch it to the battery start an air gun. Okay, so that confirms that the starter is working. <clears throat> so basically, we have a good signal to our yellow wire, which is right here. This wire right here. That's a good signal. And we have a good starter. Because we just jumped off the starter. So basically, probably what's going on with this vehicle is it's a bad connection. The signal wire to the starter. So we're going to clean that up and see if it starts. Okay, so now we've hooked our signal wire back up to our starter, a uh, little dielectric grease, cleaned it up, and now that we have 12 volts, we know we have 12 volts on the yellow wire when we're in the start position, and we jumped off the starter down here with the battery, voltage going to the starter, it should fire up. So let's let the car down and see what happens. Okay, so now we've made a new connection to the starter through our signal wire, and let's see what happens here. Put the key in the switch, turn it, and what's it going to be? Voila, it starts. That's amazing. It's a good day in the automotive repair world sometimes. 
sometimes it's not. But in this case, it looks like we just have a bad starter connection on the signal wire. It's running, I can't believe it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.